Oh, shit talking kitties. Don't post it on YouTube. Okay, so. Don't throw pillows at me, cat. You deserve it. Wish I can control my kid. Now get out of my face. Deal with it. Goes on to say, see, come on, okay, come on, see, see the promises, see the Lord your God has given you the land. Go up and take possession of it as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, told you. Yeah. Do not be afraid. I feel like that's a word of the Lord for someone here today. Can you stop uh, being being so afraid of the promises? Uh, for you that are found in God that you start to take control and start to think this is my idea and start to strategize in your own strength you know, it's not for me it's for Bill down the road he's a, he's a good it's for Bill Neiman he's a, he's a good man that's yeah. those promises yeah. you know, and, and, what, and, and we can start to overthink yeah. we can yeah. start to get in the way has anyone ever been yeah, yeah. yeah. yep yeah. anyone yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. anyone, uh, anyone anyone ever got in the way has anyone ever got in the way? You're like, you look back, you're like, yeah, I just got in the way. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> you told me not to do that. I did it. I just, got, I just got in the way. It goes on to say this. Then all of you came to me and said, I love Moses, just shifts the blame. It's, it just shifts the blame a little bit. All of you, don't you forget. This is all your fault. You came to me and said, let us send men ahead to spy out the land. So whose idea was it? It was man's idea. God said, go and take the promised land. And all of you, all right, you all just thought and started strategizing. And, and it's like, hey, let's send some spies into the promised land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're starting to take the reins. We're starting to take the will. We're, we're, we're taking over uh, uh, from God here and saying, this is how it's going to look, Lord. So then they all came to me and said, let us send the land for us and bring back a report about uh, the route we are to take and the towns we will come to. Catch this. 23. The idea. Everyone say, it's not my idea. It's not, it's not my idea. idea. It's not my idea. The idea. Everyone say, it's not my idea. It's not, not my idea. idea. But we can often have an idea. The idea, that idea that you've come to me with, says Moses, you know. It was all your fault. You came to me with an idea. That, that the idea seemed good to me. So I selected 12 of you, one man from each tribe. It is not your idea. The promises of God are not your idea. They're his idea. They're his idea. God doesn't need you. I catch this. Can you please catch this? You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. God does not need you to spy out his own promises for your life. Well, I'm going to say that one more time. I think, I think, that, I think that fell into the, into the spirit. It fell from here down to here for someone here. God doesn't need you to spy out his own promises for your life. Yes. Amen. You believe it? Come on. Speak it, brother. We, we, we see it. We see what happens. They send the spies in. They send the 12 spies and we see what happens. There's a change in heart. There's a shift in demeanor. Uh, the, 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 the thoughts and the, the feelings of, of inadequacy start to slip in as they, as they see uh, the giants in the land and they look like grasshoppers. And then it said in number thir Numbers 13, but the, but the other man who explored the land said to him and disagreed, we, we can't go up against them. We can't go into that, we can't walk into the promises because there's people there and they are stronger than we are. So they spread this bad report about the land among the Israelites. The land we traveled through and explored would devour anyone who goes to live there. Everyone says that's a bit over the top. Yeah. Yeah. It's not true. All, all the people we saw were huge, so that's a bit over the top. It's not entirely true. Uh, we even saw giants there, the descendants of Anak. Next to them, we felt like grasshoppers, so they didn't stand next to them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what they thought too, so they did not ask them that question. Yeah. And the whole community began weeping aloud, and they cried all night. Yeah. I want to encourage you in this place here today. The promised land isn't your idea. The promises of God 
are not something you come up with. It's His Word. Who knows where the promises of God are found? In His Word. It's in His Word. It's His idea. The promises of God, they're His idea. They're not your idea. We just need to know what it is to walk in them. Yeah. We live by faith and not by sight. How often do we want to be like, you know, I love this. It's so easy to walk. And, and, and sometimes we can actually struggle to walk because things aren't looking so good. But we live by faith and not, not by, by sight. sight. Faith comes by Come hearing and hearing by the word. The word. Yeah. It's not our idea. Yeah. Yep. It's not That's our true. idea. We hear by the word. Of God, that idea. is faith. It comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. It's not your idea. Yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's the word of God. There are promises in that thing that, like I said before, no weapon formed against you shall, shall prosper. prosper. Yeah. He that started a good work in you is faithful to see that good work through to completion. I mean, mm. have you been quoting any promises of God over your life lately? Yeah. Mm. Have you been standing upon them? Have you been writing, you know, like it's a very MySpace thing to do, getting the whiteboard texture out. Being through a valley right now, I am going to declare and I'm going to sing out the goodness yeah. of God. Oh God. He is Come on, faithful speak all brother. my life. Yeah. All my life. All my, don't just sing it. We need a mean. We need a letter drop into our hearts and our spirits. All we my need to life, it. you have been faithful. He has yeah. all our lives. He, he, he has been faithful. He's been faithful. It isn't your promised land. It's God's promised land. I need you to catch this. This is a big statement. Everyone say a big statement. Alert. Big statement. Big statement. Okay. Rebelling against God. All right. Rebelling against God is simply thinking. It's all about you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> uh, another big statement. You want another big statement? Yep. We'll, we'll go on. Yep. I, I don't mind hearing crickets. It's all good. I don't need to cheer after every point. It's all good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all good. I'm, don't worry about me. I'm yeah. yep. Failing to believe God will do what he said he will do is... Rebellion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. come on. Fred, I think she's come wrap it up right now. I'm just joking, you stay. I don't know where you are, but you stay. <laughs> well, no, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. We live by faith and not by sight. Do you, do you want to live a faith filled life? Yeah. Question, question. You ready? Do you want to live a faith-filled life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Uh, do, you, do you want to live filled with the power of the Holy Spirit? <coughs> yeah, come Amen. on. Amen, you're in the right place. And, 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 and how do you stop thinking all about yourself? I know that was a question you were just about to ask, all right? Here we go, you ready? Oh, how do you stop thinking all about yourself? How do you <laughs> stop putting self into every thought? Are you ready? Here's the key. You ready for this? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So the key is praise. Bring it on. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking he's lost the plot. <laughs> Since before beer the bloke, he's he's lost it. I need you to know that the key is praise. Praise. Yeah, it is. Praising Jesus. I thought, I thought Empire Era section, I thought that would be going a little bit more crazy. We'll, we'll work it we'll, one more time, all right? I just, I cued you guys, you ready? Is praise. Is it all right if we just have a little fun in this place? Is that okay? I can see Gwen, you're wild. Who loves Gwen and Graham and Craig? These guys moved over from Ballarat. It's amazing. Great to have you guys here. It's me, person. Mm. The enemy can cease you from giving God all the praise, then he is very happy. Mm. I, tell, mm. I tell you, when, when, when you might feel most attacked by the enemy in life is simply when you stop giving God all the praise. Exactly. Come on. When it simply starts becoming all about you and your strategies and your plans and your vision board and your everything. It's not happening. Stop giving God all the praise. Mm. 
Do you want to give him the... Yep. When you go to pray, right? So when you go to pray, do you start with praise? Mm. I remember when I... Uh, I remember when I first got saved and I read this book and in this book it taught me about, you know, uh, it was an acronym for, for how to pray and it was called PARTS, PARTS, P-A-R-T-S, that's how we spell it. First one being praise, then it'll go on and ask, repent, thanks and share slash silence at the end. And I remember this book, how important it is to start with praise. And not necessarily even thinking about what he's done for in your life. Like you'll get there. But firstly, firstly, just starting to praise him for who he is. Come on. That he is above all. That he is working it all together for good. With praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. We'll keep, we'll keep, we'll keep it there on four. To get out, enter his gates with thanksgiving. So we enter his gates with a key called thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm. Goes on to say, and then go into That's his good. courts with a key. It's called praise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's be really honest. That's good. I think in life sometimes we Thank don't God. feel like we can enter his gates. Mm. That we have entered his gates. Sometimes we don't feel like we're living in his courts. Are you with me, anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. And what happens, and why I think that is the case, is simply we forget we have the key. Yeah. Mm. We forget we have the key. Do you know we enter his gates? With the key of thanksgiving. Mm. How do we enter into his courts? With Thank the key you. of Thank praise. You. If the enemy can stop you forgetting that you have the key. Yeah. I got this key. And regardless of the season I'm in, I know that I can enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come on. Come on. When it goes through difficult seasons, it produces endurance in my life, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope confirms my salvation that is in Him, Christ Jesus. Oh, yep. Soup Day at church. It's called Super Day. Super Sunday. What one's yours, Deidre? What one's yours? Is it spicy? I'll have some. Soup Sunday, Super Sunday, part two.